The heart has a vital working mechanism. Let us now have a closer look at this. The most important of the mechanisms in your heart are the pumps known as the atrium and ventricles on its right and left. It is the responsibility of the left atrium and ventricle to distribute the oxygenated blood arriving to the heart to the organs and tissues. The right atrium and ventricle are responsible for sending the dirty or oxygen depleted blood to the lungs for cleaning. When oxygenated blood reaches the heart, it first passes to a small pump in the upper part or the left atrium. From there, it is passed onto a large pump beneath, which is the left ventricle. Similarly, deoxygenated or dirty blood is passed from the right atrium to the right ventricle. Everything here needs to take place in the right order. If that order is damaged, either no or too much blood will be pumped through the body. There are valves between the atria and ventricles to permit the sequence to take place properly. These valves open in only one direction, that of the flow of blood. When the atria contract, these valves open and blood fills the ventricle. Once this process has taken place, the valves close to prevent the blood flowing back to where it came from. Similar valves are also present in the ventricles. When ventricles contract, the valves open and let the blood flow directly to the body. When the pumping process stops, the valves close and blood is thus prevented from returning to the heart. The sound we perceive as the heartbeat is not contrary to what most people imagine. The sound emerging as the result of the heart's contraction and dilation. What we are actually hearing is a powerful opening and closing of these four valves. This impeccable system proves that the heart and the circulatory system could not have emerged as the result of chance, but were created by a sublime power. That power belongs to Almighty Allah, Lord of the heavens and the earth.